Ever heard a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video is worth a billion. If you're selling anything online, then you need a killer video sales letter. In this episode, we're going to cover exactly what you need to include in your VSL. If that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button, get that pin notification so you know when we're posting new videos and to share with a friend. And now let's jump right into it. Okay, dance party. Okay, let's do this. Video is the most converting digital tool out there. In fact, video is 80% more likely to convert than any other tool out there, text or image. So if you have a sales page, you know that we're going to advocate for you to add a video to it. And the video on your sales page is called a video sales letter. Video sales letters are high impact because they boost your visibility and they allow you to build trust and credibility with your ideal customer. When a person sees their teacher and gets to know them and gets to see them, it's more likely that they're going to invest in them. Exactly. If they can see you and get to know you before they even buy, they're way more likely to actually hit that buy button because once they get in the course, they already know what it's like to be taught by you. Now, Video sales letters, there's a lot of different scripts out there and a lot of them are very like, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like putting out, pulling out all the sales tricks in the book. And we like to keep it simple. You know, we're going to take it back to journalism school. Every good story has to include the four W's. One of them's an H, but we're going to overlook that. The four W's are who, what, why and how that's the h i was talking about <laughs> it's funny because it's usually the five w's not the four it is you're absolutely right it's the five w's that's what we learned in journalism school but for our purposes we're going to make it the four w's are we happy with that or you want to do that one more time i don't know if i can have that much personality again but i can try <laughs> So once you've built your foundation of the who, what, why, and how, then you're gonna want to build scarcity and make sure that your customer knows that they need to act now or else they're gonna miss their opportunity. But before we get into all the good stuff and what you should include within each pillar, the first thing you wanna start off with in your VSL is a hook. So you wanna make sure you have this overarching statement, a hook, a, a juicy statement that's going to grab your ideal customer's attention, okay? and. Usually we'd like to start off with a question that is really engaging and relevant to what your dream customer is feeling. Great. So let's actually give an example of a hook statement. This is a statement that we use for one of our video courses and it went like this. Let me put my acting hat on. <laughs> All right. What if you could make videos effortlessly? <laughs> what if you could make videos effortlessly I can't say that word what if you could make videos effortlessly without the overwhelm know exactly what to say to convert your audience into paying customers all right let's start talking about our pillars so the first pillar is introducing who you are and I always like to inject some storytelling into who I am to just spice things up a little bit so I would start off by being and saying, I'm Yasmin, I'm a video expert, I've been in your shoes, I've struggled with showing up on camera and being overwhelmed with all the tag and not knowing what to say and how to say it. And over the years, I have overcome those fears. And now I'm on the other side, helping entrepreneurs like you show up on video confidently and connect with your audience. So that's a really nice way of making an introduction, talking about my area of expertise and who I am and how I'm here to serve my customers. Next, we're going to talk about the what. What do you have to offer? So this is where you can actually paint a picture of what life would be like if they had access to a certain result. So imagine what your life would be like if you could get on video confidently. Imagine what your life could be like if you easily converted your audience into paying customers using video marketing. Well, I have the perfect offer for you and insert offer here, okay? Now, a lot of people ask, is this where I also talk about the price? And we are firm believers that you don't mention the price until the very end. Everybody gets on a sales page or listens to a video sales letter because they wanna know what the price is. So keep them going until the very end, okay? 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Next is your why. Why is this offer so special and unique? This is where you want to address the benefits of your product and your offer. Now, Benefits are different from features of a product. So make sure that you're focusing on the benefits rather than all the good things that comes within the product. You wanna focus on how this product is going to make your customer's life easier. How is it going to solve their problem? Okay, so that is what you're going to focus on in your why. Next, how. How do I get my hands on it? And this is where we inject the price in. So all you have to do, all you have to do to get this amazing offer is Give me $7 or 70 or 100 or 7,000 or, you know, your firstborn child. <laughs> Whatever it is that that person has to do, this is where you tell them that all they have to do is provide you with, let's say, an email or a few dollars or a few hundred in order to get your offer. Great, and this is a really good place to have an early call to action because some people by this time may be ready to make a purchase. So instead of going through the rest of the video, they might wanna click the buy button. And this is a good place to insert that call to action of if you're ready to buy, go ahead and insert your email or give me your money. And now that they've heard the price, this is where most of the time they'll start saying, yeah, but well, we're gonna bust those butts right out of the way <laughs> with the bonuses. So this is where you want to throw in those special limited time offers. Okay. So if you get this offer today, I'll throw in bonus one, bonus two, bonus three, bonus. Four. Okay. You don't really need that many, but you could if you wanted to, but this is where we also create scarcity and we also create that limited opportunity. So yes, this is the price for your offer. But if you get that offer today, we'll throw in some other magical. Is it okay if I said <laughs> yeah, we can beep it out. Okay, so you've got this amazing offer and you've got these amazing bonuses and yet your ideal customer is thinking, well, what's the catch here? I'm not quite ready to purchase this product. Well, now it's time to bust those objections. So for example, when it comes to a video course, if someone says, hey, I wanna show up on video, but I don't have a camera. Well, guess what? We're gonna bust that objection and say, a camera is included. So whatever their objections may be, whatever's holding them back, here's an opportunity to bust those objections. Next, we have our guarantee. So we talked about this in our sales page video. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. But guarantees are amazing for buying psychology. It gives your potential customer the security that should anything go wrong, they can just get their money back. And for you, it allows you to get instant feedback on your offer or your product. So don't be afraid to throw in that guarantee and tell them that you're willing to give them their money back. They just have to try the product. And guess what? If they want their money back, ask for feedback. Why? What didn't work for you? Which part of it didn't you not like? And iterate. Make that product better for your next customer. By now your audience has a lot of information and they're probably wondering, wait a second, what do I get again? So this is a great place to repeat what it is that they're getting. So introduce the offer again, talk about the benefits, the value, and why they shouldn't miss this opportunity and why they need to act today. So this is where you want to reinforce a little bit more scarcity. Create that FOMO, right? So if they don't get it now, they're gonna definitely miss out. And last but not least, you wanna throw in a call to action. What do you want them to do? Click that button, you know, fill out that form, do X, Y, and Z, whatever you want them to do, be really clear about what you want them to do at this point of a video sales letter. And that is how you wrap up your video sales letter. Amazing. So you've got the four key pillars of how you should build a killer video sales letter. Don't forget and don't miss this opportunity. If you have a sales page, if you're selling anything online, make sure that you're showing up on video because this is going to boost your visibility and is going to build trust and the like factor with your potential paying customers. If you liked today's video, we invite you to check out our video starter guide. It's a great way to, for you to learn more about video, equipment, and anything that you need when you're starting out with video. Now, you might wanna use the video starter guide to create your video sales letter. So, check out the description below to get access to the video starter guide. And if you like this video, make sure that you and if you like this video, make sure that you smash that like, but that's what I was trying to say. There we go. And if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and make sure to click on the bell notification to be notified of our future videos.
and we'll see you in the next episode. Blah, 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 blah. This is all bloopers. Yeah.